In Python, we have another very useful data structure called a set, which is basically a collection with no duplicates. So let's say we have a list of numbers with a bunch of duplicate items like this. If you want to remove the duplicates, you can convert this list to a set. So I'm going to define a variable unix. We call the set function and pass the numbers list. Now when we print this, take a look, we only have unique items. So one is not repeated. Also note that we use curly braces to define sets. So here we can define a second set using curly braces with two items, one and four. Now, similar to lists, we can add new items to a set or remove an existing one. So here we can call second.add. We can append a new number here. We can also call remove. And we can use the len function to get the number of items in a set. So these are the basics. But where sets shine are in the powerful mathematical operations that are supported by them. Let me show you. So I'm going to delete these three lines. These are pretty basic. And rename Unix to first. So we have two sets, first and second. Now we can get a union of two sets using the vertical bar. So this expression will return a new set that includes all the items that are either in the first or in the second set. Let me show you. So print. Actually, I'm going to change this four to five. So now when we run this code, you can see the union of these two sets is another set that includes all the items that are either in the first set or the second set. We can also get the intersection of two sets. So print first and second. This will return a new set that includes all the items that are in both first and second sets. Take a look. So the only number that exists in both these sets is one. We can also get the difference between two sets. So print first minus second. When we run this code, we get two, three, four. So the first set has these additional numbers that we don't have in the second set. And finally, we have symmetric difference. So print first caret second. This will return the items that are either in the first or second set, but not both. So let's run this. We get two, three, four, five. Now, one thing you need to know about sets is that unlike lists, they're unordered collection, which means the items that we have in a set are not in sequence, so we cannot access them using an index. In other words, if we try to print first of zero, we will get a runtime error. Set object does not support indexing. So if you need to access items by an index, you need to use a list. With sets, quite often we use one of these operations here, or we can check for the existence of an item in a set. So we can check to see if one is in the first set, then we can print yes. There you go. So to recap, set is an unordered collection of unique items. We cannot have duplicates, and these objects are unordered. They are not in sequence. So we cannot access them using an index. Hi guys, thank you for watching this tutorial. My name is Mosh Hamadani, and I have tons of tutorials like this for you on my channel. So be sure to subscribe, and also please like and share this video. If you want to learn Python properly from scratch with depth, I have a comprehensive Python tutorial for you. The link is below this video, so click the link to get started. Thank you and have a fantastic day.